Yeah, all our unconsciouses have a great effect on mm -hmm. our behavior and, and the state of the world today, you know, both good and the bad state of the world yeah. today. Uh, your unconscious has a huge effect on your, both your identification and your affection for certain groups mm -hmm. that you might be a part of and, and the opposite for groups that, that you um, aren't a part of and that you, that you don't like. And I think it's important to be conscious of, to, tr to learn about how you work and see uh, where some of those feelings come from. What's your new book about? Uh, I just finished a book uh, called The Upright Thinkers, Our Journey from Living in the Trees to Understanding the Cosmos. Wow. <laughs> a little book. <laughs> and it's, it's about the that. It's about upright how, thinker, the Upright Journey Thinker, Journey from the, Living in the Trees to Understanding the Cosmos. Yeah, so I start with us as apes, and then we stand upright, and our minds stand upright too, and how we how our minds evolve to treat uh, deeper issues in the universe, abstract uh, thinking, uh, the questions of why we're here. And I uh, go through the origins of uh, writing and mathematics, uh, philosophy, and all the way to chemistry, physics, biology. Where do they come from? What was the thinking that went involved when they were invented? And I go all the way on to modern science and modern physics today. So it's a really a, whatever we understand about the cosmos, about life today, where did that knowledge come from over, over the millennia, over the, and over the centuries? So pick up the book. Uh, it's called The Upright Thinker. How we came from our journey from what? Living in the trees. Living in the trees to understanding the cosmos. Uh, the Upright Thinker. Uh, there's a screenshot uh, along with this program. I think you'll find it fascinating. Uh, Leonard's a great scholar. He does his work. I know that uh, from personal experience. And he's an amazing writer, so you'll really enjoy the book if you're interested in understanding not only the cosmos, but yourself and where we are, why we, we are here in our thinking of the cosmos and how it's evolved uh, since uh, we were apes. So Leonard, during the last part of this program, because you're such an expert in this area, I will just, and our audience isn't, they, although they've learned, uh, some things about physics and cosmos and philosophy and consciousness from people like Max Tegmark and Michio Kaku and your friend Heather Berlin and many others. Let me ask you just a few questions, okay? So, the Big Bang. What is the Big Bang? Well, the Big Bang refers to a time where the universe expanded from something that was unimaginably small to what it is today, the observable universe, the part that we can see.